Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Mountain Buggy Duet. This is the 2012 2.5 version, I believe, and it's got beautiful swivel wheels, which I love, that are also lockable. It has this adjustable handle that you can pull all the way up, which is great for children that are on a buggy board so their heads don't hit it. And it's also fully reclinable with these very easy to adjust straps. It comes with a bumper bar which is really really handy because it clips on very easily but also you can undo it on either side so it makes it far easier to get children in and out of this pram. I really like this feature because I was fed up in my old pram of constantly having to lift children up and over the bumper bar but with this you don't have to worry about that. It also has a three point harness and the thing I love about this harness is it's so easy to adjust. You just flip this plastic bit here and just pull it to adjust it. There's no kind of feeding things through or anything like that. And what's even better if you need to adjust the height of it then you just unclip it and it's so much easier to do and I love this feature of this pram. It also has two fully um, like large um, canopy hoods which I really like. There is a lot of discoloration on this pram. This is kind of a, an issue with mountain buggies, but I can assure you that this in person looks very black. Here it looks purple. I think it's just the light. So the wheels clip off really easily, which is really handy for the car. I need to do this to get it in my car. And also if you've got muddy wheels as well, it just makes it much easier. And the brakes are these two levers on the side and they're just really easy to flip down and flip up. So now I'm going to show you how to take the seat unit off to put the basket on. This is actually really quick to do. I mean, it looks complicated, but honestly, it's really not that hard. You just unclip the hood like so. Everything on this pram is pretty much poppers and zips. So there's one zip on this side and you just unhook it like so. And then there's some poppers on the other side that you just unpop. And at the bottom, there's a small clip. And again, you just unpop it all probably the only bit left to do is um, unclip the hood on the other side, undo the zip and that's it, it should release easily. And the seat is brilliant because it folds up, it's all fabric so you can put it underneath the pram and as you can see the basket is a good size. So what I tend to do is just slot it underneath the pram along with the hood so if Sebastian does get really tired and decide that he doesn't want to stand on the buggy board then he can go in the pram. So now this is the um, Joey tote bag and it's clipped in all with these poppers. It's really simple and straightforward to do. So you just do the two at the bottom and then once you've done the two at the bottom you just go ahead and do the two at the top and they're all connected to the same kind of popper bits that, were, that the seat unit attaches to. popper on this one actually broke I kind of um, pulled it it's a bit too hard and it broke so I've managed to work out a way in which I can just hook it onto the side and there you go that's it this is the Joey tote and um, it's just such a handy feature of this pram I absolutely love it this is one of the reasons why I bought it and yeah I really really love it it also comes with a canvas bas bag, bag that you slot inside and I love that as well because it means I can put all my shopping in and just lift it out when we get home and the bumper bar still fits on as well so now we go to the back. Now this is an additional feature to the mountain buggy. This is the mountain buggy free rider and it clips on the back with these two adaptions. And I believe the free rider does fit on other prams, but you just need to check mountain buggy website for compatibility. You can either take off the handle or keep it on, but we like to keep it on because our Sebastian, sorry, likes to hold onto it when we're driving and it just clips on really easily with those two prongs at the front. And the thing I like about this is because of the space of the mountain buggy, you can stand by the side of it so you're not kind of stretching your arms over like you would a normal buggy board, which is what I really like. And then to lift it up, you just take off the handle and hook it on with this bungee. Um, and to have it as a buggy board, you do need to pull the wheel down. And then if you have it as a skateboard, you just pull the wheel back up. 
So all in all, this is such a fantastic pram. It does come with this metal panel, which can be a bit annoying as kids do kick it, but I have to say Albert stopped that now. He's kind of, the novelty has worn off. And it does with, come with a good size basket. Hey guys, um, I also thought I'd insert this clip as well, the clip that you're about to watch. And that is an alternative basket that you can also get for this pram. So it comes with two different types. There's a Joey tote, which is what I've got. That's about 25 pounds, 30 pounds, something like that. And then there's one that's 50 pounds and that's the Joey basket. Now, I got sent this by accident. I was supposed to have sent the original one that I do have now, and I got sent this one by mistake, but I thought I'd try it out anyway, and I really don't like it. It seems like it would be the better option because it's a solid frame, it's more of a basket, you can fit more in it, but I really don't like it. It looks really ugly, it sticks out really far, and also it, you can't fold it away. So this might give you an idea of this, the width of the carry cot. It's very, very narrow, but I will go on and talk to you about that in my pros and cons in a sec. This is what the Joey basket looks like. I don't particularly think this looks nice. I think it's, I mean, it's massive and it's incredibly practical, but it's, uh, it's not the most appealing to the eye. I wouldn't say it's particularly stylish. It kind of just sticks out a bit. I think the problem with this is it just does stick out. But like I said, it is a really handy kind of option if you are wanting to use this with one child and one day and, and are someone that was doing a big shop or whatever. You can actually fit up to £40 in this. So that's quite a lot. So that is my review of the Manta Buggy Duet. I absolutely love this pram. Hands down, it's the best pram that I've ever owned. In terms of its kind of all around brilliantness, it is the best pram I've ever owned. I am umming and ahhing about it at the moment as to our need to, whether we do actually need a double because Sebastian is getting out of the seat unit less and less. I've done another video on this and I'll leave that down, down below if you can help me in any way or make my decision. But I'm gonna just read out now some of the cons that I found since having this and also some of the pros. So the first thing I'm going to do is read out the pros and the cons of this as well. The pros are that it is the same size as a standard push chest so it may look like it's wider and it is wider because obviously a standard push chest would go in the middle but the wheels are only as wide as a standard push chest so I have never had any trouble getting this out in, in and out of any doors. It gets in everywhere and manoeuvres absolutely everywhere very well as well as a double or a single granted it's not the most stylish pram it's not a bugaboo donkey but it is suitable as a single or a double you do have that option to to convert it if you need to it has air fill tires so it makes it lighter and easier to push however you might have a few punctures with these i haven't had any yet touch wood but some people do you might depending on where you live but if that is a problem you can get aerotech tires and those aerotech tires are like normal tires basically so you wouldn't have to have that trouble but i do find it makes it very easy to push with two children it's a very light push chair to push it's an all-terrain push chair so this is fantastic for absolutely all terrains you can even get skis for this and like seriously if you go on the website the amount of accessories for the mountain buggy duet is or mountain buggy in general is unreal it can also take really heavy children as well you can take pretty heavy children in this tall children too there's plenty of room in it for children that are tall for long legs and and that's the great thing about it if you do have children like my son who um, gets tired very easily so the cons are that it is bulky in the car. Now I have a Skoda Fabia. It's not a big car at all. I've never had trouble getting prams in it, but I have had to take the parcel shelf. By taking the wheels off and laying it upright, you can fit this pram in your car, no problem. It doesn't restrict my vision either, so I don't have to worry about that. Chris does have a Land Rover Discovery. That's our family car, and it just slots in no problem there as well. The seats are narrower as well, as you can see. The seats are, sli seats are slightly narrower. So if you have kind of like children with really broad shoulders or particularly large children, then this might be an issue, but I've not really had it been too much an issue you can still see that shoulders are touching the kind of bars and things you know that you you do see that especially with jumpers but none of my kids have kicked off about it and they've never had a problem with it at all the carry cot so if you want to get a carry cot for this it is only as wide as that the carry cot is exceptionally narrow it's so so narrow for the mantic bucket duet however this may seem like a con but most of the parents that have used it have actually said that their children set a better settle better in it my theory on that is that they're all kind of snug and kind of cozied in a bit like a sleepy head like all kind of not squished in but just kind of not much room to kind of fling their arms so that's why they're they're really settled and i know a lot of children that despite it being very narrow have used this up until they're about five months old if you can parent face this but you will need to buy additional seat unit now the caracot plus is a caracot plus a seat unit and it does parent face so you can interchange this this is an interchangeable travel system you can have two caracots a parent facing forward facing however you want 
months. The only other issue as well, apparently if you have a maxi cozy or car seat and you have it, um, the adaptions there, then um, sometimes children kind of end up facing or kind of knocking, you know, they can kind of knock the handle. So that could be a bit of an issue as well. I don't have that, so I can't say much about it in that respect, but it is a complete interchangeable travel system. And you will need different adapters for the car seat and things like that. If you choose to have the Maxi Cozy as a single, you need single adapters. If you choose to have two Maxi Cozies, you need two um, two adapters that are different to the single one. So you need to go on Mountain Buggy and just check to see if you want the single adapters, the, the double adapters. Like it, it can be a bit confusing. And again, it's not stylish. This would be a con. It just is not particularly stylish at all if you are having it as a single. It's not a bugaboo donkey, but a bugaboo donkey, you know, if you take it out as a double, you have to have it as a double. With this, if your child changes their mind and they don't want to be in the pram, then you can take out that seat unit, put the bag on, and the seat seats are really quick to interchange. They're not like snap in, but they are not, they're less than five minutes, a couple of minutes it takes to put the seat in. So that's one thing I really love about it. I think this is a really good dupe for that. Definitely one to think about. I really hope you like this video. Please click like if you like. Please subscribe if you want to. I'm a mum of two boys, three and a half and under, and I make lots of videos about parenting, lifestyle, stuff like that. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.